position here at the start. And here at center, that's intercepted. Puts it on that. Oh, what a save! He stopped it. Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Play continues here, but this crowd still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feeling. Why? Because it doesn't always go this way. So when you have it, you embrace it. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. So a little home cooking pace on this one. Get on the board quickly here. Gotta love the home cooking, James, as this team really fires up the crowd with that start and sending a clear message they want this game. You don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Wild have clearly enjoyed a home-cooked pre-game meal because they are buzzing to start this one. They are just electric for that goal. Everyone on the bench is standing up. They provided an energy for this team early in the game. Now they need to build off it and keep pressing. Centering feed! Oh, he comes up with a stop! And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. From off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. No room for that one to get through. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. And he comes up with it. Zone. And now it's over to Kane. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Pass back to the point. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Handles the pass. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Chris has been a reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes, as indicated by that save right there. Every time he's between the pipes, he gives his team an opportunity. to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaging, keeping himself in it. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. one nothing to score. And they win the draw here in their own end. Passes ahead from the right side. Here's a short pass to Nylander. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Minnesota's got possession at center. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to stall. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Takes a shot. Turns it aside with the glove. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Michael's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Stalls won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Good use of the body on the play. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. 
tonight. Taken along the wall by Patan. Oh, did the ring rattle after that collision in the corner? The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Shucks them down. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Oh, what a save! Sentinels made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a grade-A scoring area. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Picked up along the boards by Niskanen. Slides the puck over. Slides it across to Robertson. Arvidsson stick handling in his own zone. Through center along the wing. He's only one goal away, James, from his next milestone right here. Handles the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Kane. And he takes the dish. Too much congestion in front. There's a hit on the play. Quick feed to Clay. Receives the pass. Here's a pass in front. And that's intercepted. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Toronto's playing it through the neutral zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. A chance! Oh, wow! What a save with the glove! Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. In the final moments of this period, Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. Niederreiter's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Hannes. He carries the puck up along the wing. And that's stopped away by Scandella. Slip feed. Nice zone entry from the left. Great heads up play with the stick by Wilgren. Takes the puck at the point. Denies him in close. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp and be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Marner's a great teammate because of his third eye zone ability and it means he can set someone up with the perfect dish. Michael's a dangerous player when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, guys. His all-alone zone ability means he can keep calm under pressure and executes on those solo plays. Those are two big names I'll be keeping tabs on all throughout this matchup. Now, send it back upstairs. Fires it on net. Oh, and it comes up with a big stop there. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Played big in the moment there. Cheryl Pryor to puck drop tonight. The kid got the spotlight all on them. Yeah, and what a moment for him. You know, this is the lifelong dream when you get to step out on the ice all by yourself, I might add, and all the veterans in behind you, and you really get to feel the experience. No question about it. His family will be in the crowd. He'll be charged up thinking about when he was a young boy. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Stalls won it in their own end. Now he slides it up to Parisi. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. The Leafs have it now. Feeds the puck up to Nylander. With possession along the wall. And not much on that one. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Are charged up, and here we go with period number two. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Samsonov's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. Zips it on that. Oh, he made the 
wins the defensive zone faceoff. Turn that chance aside. Picked up along the wall by Heatley. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Moves the puck across to Riley. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. Big stop right there. Moves it to Riley. Oh, he'll feel that one. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nylander. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flip to the stick. Stop that one. Tries to get it over to Riley. And now he tries to get it across to Robertson. Here's a shot. Makes a save. Minnesota's got the lead here early in this second period. Their offense has been clicking at all cylinders thus far. Niederreiter's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And he's knocked off the puck there. Here's a short pass to Vanek. Glove save made by Sam Sodov. Vanek's back in the lineup after nursing his injury. And sometimes it can be frustrating and can feel a little slow to start. But he creates some offense right off the hop. Gostas bears back at you, zone ability is that reverse hit he throws on incoming checkers, guys. He can lessen the impact of a body check and make them think twice about taking a run at him. Robertson's got it along the boards. Takes a shot, and that pass off pours off a body. And things starting to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Quick pass to play. Rocked him. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Power forwards drive lanes and they drive bodies, and that one's perfectly executed. Tosses it on to Vanek. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Moves it over to Timmins. Good heads up play with the bank pass. The Leafs take possession here in the open ice. Rocks him. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the club. Nice play there. Minnesota's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. Stalls won the draw here in their own zone. And he takes the pass. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. Puck picked up by the 10. Scores! All over the rebound. And tucks it in for the goal. Oh, he burns the goaltender on that one. Picks up the rebound and buries it home. Boy, he looks frustrated now. James knows that you got to redirect that puck to a safe spot. Toronto's ability to finally light the lamp has made this a new game. It wasn't at the start they were looking for, but it's not about the past, it's not about the future, it's about the present right now, and they're within one, and they gotta find a way to make that next shift count. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And now he angles it across to Parisi. Offside the call, we'll get a face-off coming up. Still lots of time left in the period. 
The Leafs still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. Tries to get the puck to Hannes. And that's picked off. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. And it's kicked away. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Champions got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Johns. And that's taken by the defense. Passes it to Hidestroza. Drills him. Moves it quickly over to Enroth. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Riley. Quick pass across to Marner. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Stops him with the glove. Samsonov's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about, for a tender, managing the momentum swings of the game, and the timeliness of the saves have really given this team an opportunity. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a close save by Samsonov! More than half the frame has been played here. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? The Leafs have it against the wall. Yeah, you don't hit him. Here we go. This is where teams are made, James. When your star player gets hit, someone has to have his back. And there's the takedown, and I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. The Leafs find a way to send a clear message with that fight. They say, we're not going to be pushed around. We're tough, we're physical, and we're not going anywhere. Silverberg's known for overpowering goalies with a hard, fast one-timer. His 1T one zone ability is that signature shot, and it's how he gets some of his best looks, guys. Turned aside with a glove by Samsonov. Minnesota's message was clear coming into this one. Lots of shots on net, and they lead here in this second. That's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers are tied up. There's the physical side. The Leafs pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Moves it to Marner. Oh, what a save in front. Great pressure on the offensive end by Matthews. Here's a short pass to Heatley. Moves the puck. Sends the pass over. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Samsonov. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in. Well, it looks like they've reset the table. I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted, found themselves behind the eight ball, but it's amazing, James. It's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. The Leafs have tied things up after that snipe, and this has been back and forth all night. Yeah, I just love it, James. And they put themselves in a good position here as they get the equalizer nearing the end of the second. They'll have a lot to talk about in the intermission heading into the third. From the neutral zone now. And Ross got it along the wing. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Quick pass to Arvidsson. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Feeds it across. Big time stop. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Minnesota's gained the line and into the zone. Sends the feet in front, and that's blocked in front. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. What a collision!
in there, and that frees up a little room. Keeps the hold of the puck after that knock. The Wild have it in their own zone. Sends one up to Enroth. Handles the puck from the left side. Quick feed to Johns. Takes the pass. And he makes a save there. Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Musa quickly over to Krieger. Lays the body. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Here's a chance. Being saved by the goaltender watching that one. Does a great shot with some great pushes to get to the top of this crease and make the save from a high danger area. The centerman glide into position. Back up away as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. down still another 20 to go here in this one join us for period number three next players are set officials are set third period action is coming up and we are underway here in the third still time Johns looks around. Grabbed along the board by Riley. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Sends it to the middle. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Pushes it across to Enroth. Minnesota's on the attack. Stars! And there's Ferdinand! What a Well, to say he's been a consistent performer on goal score would be an understatement, James. He has had natural talent. It's amazing what he can do, but the question is, what is he going to do next? It's such a tough shot to read to be able to catch the puck on your backhand and be able to release it quickly. You may have to control it, and that's why it's so unpredictable. Number 49 on the year, and, you know, why stop at 49, right, Pounder? Oh, he's heading right to 50, isn't he, James? He can taste it. You know he can. He's a true competitor. And listen, not many veterans get to 50 goals, but this rookie, he's going to do it. And he shut the door on that last play. Well, he's so fast, he's strong, and he's got incredible balance. And these are different layers to his game when you combine it with the way and speed at which he can move. Man, he's so dangerous. Minnesota's looking to break out. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. And now he moves it to Robertson. Fires it! Stopped by the goaltender. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Heatley's won the faceoff. Enros got it in the defensive end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Healy's usually an impact player, and tonight he's been really quiet. You've got to expect that he's going to find his game because he needs to if his team wants to win. This one's still close. They can still get it done, but he needs to be a difference maker. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Enros picking up steam. For point blank! And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Turns that one away. Pass to Niskanen. And now it's over to Kane. Feeds it to Timmins. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Niederreiter's taking it from his own end. Moussa to Vanek. Double G in the hands! Great glove save! I really want to look
look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Nearing the midway mark of the period, 3-2 is where we sit in what has been a tightly contested affair. Niederreiters won the draw here in the offensive zone. Off the glove! Puck picked up by Lilgren. The Leafs will play it in their own end. He got all of that one. Puck sent in, and that will allow for a fresh group of forwards to get out on the ice. And he lowers the boom there. Oh, he got thunderstruck on that hit. He got all of that hit. Check inside the attacking zone. Makes the save in the trapper. Hammers the shot. Oh, there's one more. Champions depended upon for taking faceoffs. Guys, he uses his quick draw zone ability to win those tight matchups, and it really helps his team gain possession right from the puck drop. Michaels gained possession, and his great work inside the faceoff circle pays off again. Here's a chance! Stop by the goaltender. Samsonov's got the puck, and he's gonna hang on for a whistle. Well, there's only one reason that this game is tight, James. It's the guy between the crease. He elects to hold on to that one. He has been dynamite. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Minnesota's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Michaels won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And he rings the post! Minnesota's players on the bench are shaking their head. They can't believe that didn't go in. They thought they had extended the cushion to their lead, but unfortunately, it hits the post and out. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. Minnesota's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Slides it on over to Scandella. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Toronto's got possession of the puck. Here they come. a club save on the play. Minnesota's played one of their best games this season. They continue to dominate in the shot department and lead it here in the third. Robertson's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. For the one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off. Guys, we've seen this power play struggle before, and it's something that their coach has been working on with them day to day during practice. And if they can have the confidence to pull this one off, it might get the momentum going in the right direction here. Let's see what happens. And that carries off a body in the lane. Scooped up along the wall by Patan. And that's a great hits up play by Niskanen. Nice job to escape the zone. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. And he handles a cross ice pass. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Scores! They've tied it up. Opportunity knocking and they take advantage on the power play. Well, you spend so much time in practice working on it because you want to have different layers to throw off the PK units. And I thought they did a real effective job of reading what they were giving and then they were able to bury it. Coaches are always harping on pass execution. Well, this is a clear example. When the pass is crisp and it's on the tape, it's on the money, it finds the back of the net. The Leafs have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, when you score a goal like this, often you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. 
There's the collision, and look who's hit again. Well, he's been a punching bag tonight, James. He's gonna have to find a way to get out of the way. member of the broadcast team back in here, our own Carlin Bade. What you got going on? Michaels, the player, I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. of this period. Minnesota's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And they win the draw on their own end. And it's a quick pass to Silverberg. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And the extended stick ends that one. Takes the bank feed. Big save by the goaltender. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. A lot the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Robertson's won it off the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Bertuzzi. Oh. Sorry, James, didn't mean to step on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. Heatley's won a big draw on their own end. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Skates across the blue line. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Samsonov. Here's a shot, and there's the save on the play. And now it's grabbed by Niskanen. There's the whistle, we've got an offside. Minnesota's looking to close things out here. They've been the dominant team all night. Hard to see them taking their foot off the gas now. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. There's an injection of energy with that hit. The Leafs take possession in the defensive end. Marner's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And he takes the feed. Stones him in front. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. The Leafs really need a goal here. They pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Makes his presence known on the ice. Off the left wing and into center. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Chance in an empty here. They score! Yes. 
foot off. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Officials are set. Players seem ready to get this thing back underway. That's one way to take possession with both centers tied up there in that scrum. There's the final word, and this one's in the box. James, when you're winning games, it's easy to have buy-in, right? Everything's working for you, so you're trusting the process, and that's when you see the real good habits. Tonight was another product of that. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Well, a fun night of hockey comes to an end, but guess what, everybody? There's always next time, and we will see you then. For Cheryl Powder, I'm James Sabosky. Thanks for playing.